The Chinese regime has openly backed the WHO against Taiwan, a region that China considers its own territory. In the latest episode, China is accusing Taiwan of quote-unquote venomous attacks against its aid slasher better, the World Health Organization. This may just be the biggest attestation of the WHO-China nexus. Let me start from the very beginning. Taiwan had hit back at the WHO chief because he accused the Taiwanese leadership of racism. We told you yesterday what happened, how Dr. Tedros alleged that Taiwan was behind a smear campaign against him. He called them racist. Now, China has joined in. It says that Taiwan is indeed conspiring with Internet users to spread racist comments. Why? Because according to Beijing, this is Taiwan's bid to seek independence by manipulating a crisis. I certainly will not agree with that accusation. We hope the Taiwan government will not politicize the pandemic or engage in political manipulation. Well, this was the outspoken Mr. Zhao Lijian, a China favorite, as I've told you before. He often tends to block people for showing his government the mirror. Here's something else, he says, will always be blocked. Taiwan's participation in WHO activities. The WHO is a specialized agency of the United Nations. It is composed of sovereign countries. Taiwan's participation in WHO activities must be based on the One China principle. It must be arranged through cross-strait negotiations. He talks about the One China principle, a principle that seems to apply even to Chinese propaganda. I'm not saying this Taiwan's Ministry of Justice is. The Investigation Bureau of this ministry has unearthed an online campaign to apologize to the WHO Director General. It says thousands of Chinese internet users are posing online as Taiwanese and rendering heartfelt apologies on behalf of Taiwan's government. The things you do to make your conspirers happy. Countless social media posts have begun appearing promoting apologies in Taiwan's name. The same templates are being spotted on several accounts that falsely identify themselves as Taiwanese. But all of them have been traced back to China. The message they're carrying reads, and I'm quoting, I feel extremely ashamed that we attacked uh, Dr. Tedros in such a malicious way. I apologize on behalf of the Taiwanese and beg for his forgiveness. Beg for his forgiveness. If you're doing propaganda, at least do it well. Because this sounds terrible, given the Chinese standards. Back to the issue, Taiwan is not taking any of this lightly. It says that these actions constitute a grave threat to Taiwan's international reputation. It does, after all, the small island state is managing the pandemic better than China, without any help from international organizations. Taiwan has only recorded 382 cases and six deaths. Not only has it managed to contain the Wuhan virus, it is helping the world fight this pandemic. Thank you.